Hello and welcome to our video about the top 10 things to do in Corfu, a captivating Greek island renowned for its timeless charm and rich history. Its diverse landscape spans from sandy beaches and crystal clear waters to lush hills and olive groves. Make sure to watch until the end, as we saved the best thing to do in Corfu for last. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the best travel information about Europe. We use a mix of travel experience, a lot of local knowledge and reviews to provide you with the most reliable and relevant travel information in Europe. So be sure to visit our website for the biggest travel website about Europe. Corfu is situated in the Ionian Sea, off the northwest coast of mainland Greece, and is part of the Ionian Islands Group. The population of Corfu is around 100,000 people. The island's old town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, boasts Phoenician architecture, narrow streets and vibrant markets that echo centuries of cultural influences. Corfu's allure extends beyond its picturesque vistas. The island is a tapestry of experiences, offering historical sites like Achilleon Palace and Venetian fortresses, alongside traditional villages and monasteries. The turquoise waters invite you to bask on its beaches, from bustling shores to hidden coves. Corfu's fusion of natural beauty and cultural heritage creates an inviting ambience that's both captivating and serene. Whether you're drawn to its historical landmarks, gastronomic delights, or simply seeking moments of tranquility, Corfu promises an authentic Greek experience that resonates deeply. It's an invitation to immerse yourself in the island's legacy while relishing the harmony of its landscapes and traditions. But let's start with a short introduction to the island's history. Corfu's history is a blend of ancient Greek roots and successive occupations by the Romans, Byzantines, Normans, Venetians and Ottomans. Venetian rule during the Renaissance brought prosperity, leaving an indelible mark on the island's architecture. Occupied by various powers throughout its history, Corfu joined modern Greece in 1864 and has witnessed World War I and II German occupation and post-war reconstruction. Its strategic location in the Ionian Sea shaped its fate, reflected in its forts, palaces and diverse cultural influences that continue to define Corfu's identity today. Now let's take a look at the top 10 things to do on this amazing Ionian island. Number 10. Visit the Asian Art Museum The Asian Art Museum in Corfu is a hidden gem that offers a unique cultural experience. Housed in the Palace of St. Michael and St. George, the museum boasts an impressive collection of Asian art and artifacts, ranging from China, Japan, India and beyond. Its diverse exhibits include delicate ceramics, intricate textiles and ornate sculptures. Visiting the Asian Art Museum provides a captivating journey into the artistic heritage of Asia. The museum's serene ambience and carefully curated displays allow you to explore the nuances of different cultures and artistic traditions. The Asian Art Museum offers a departure from the ordinary allowing you to immerse yourself in the artistic richness of distant lands. It's a chance to expand your cultural horizons and gain a deeper understanding of the global artistry that has shaped the world. Whether you're an art enthusiast or a curious traveler, the museum promises a captivating and enlightening experience during your Corfu journey. Number 9. Explore the new fortress of Corfu. The new fortress of Corfu, also known as Fortezza Nueva, stands as a testament to the island's strategic significance and its historical battles for control. Built by the Venetians in the 16th century to reinforce the city's defences, 
The fortress boasts imposing walls, underground passages and a commanding vantage point overlooking the sea and Old Town. Visiting the new fortress offers a glimpse into Corfu's military history and architectural prowess. The fortress not only showcases the engineering skills of the past, but also offers panoramic views of the city and the Ionian Sea. Its network of tunnels and chambers provide a fascinating exploration opportunity, revealing the methods of defence employed during its time. Beyond its historical significance, the fortress's elevated position makes it a prime spot for capturing picturesque photos and taking in Corfu's scenic beauty. It's an invitation to step back in time, appreciate the island's strategic importance and immerse yourself in a captivating blend of history and stunning vistas. Number 8. Experience Corfu's nightlife. Corfu's nightlife offers an enticing array of entertainment that spans from dusk till dawn. The island's diverse nightlife scene caters to a wide range of tastes and preferences. From charming bars and traditional tavernas to lively nightclubs and beachside parties, there's something for everyone. Experiencing Corfu's nightlife provides an opportunity to immerse yourself in the island's social fabric and engage with locals and fellow travellers. The lively atmosphere and camaraderie create memorable evenings that blend relaxation and excitement. Whether you're seeking a quiet seaside spot to sip local wine or dance the night away in a beachfront club, Corfu's nightlife promises an authentic and dynamic experience. It's a chance to unwind, celebrate and witness the island's multifaceted character beyond its daytime charm. Whether you're a night owl or simply looking to create unforgettable memories, Corfu's nightlife scene invites you to revel in the island's nocturnal delights. Number 7. Discover the Old Fortress of Corfu The old fortress of Corfu, also known as Fortezza Vecchia, stands as a historical sentinel overlooking the island's coastline. Constructed by the Venetians in the 15th century, its sturdy walls and strategic position were designed to safeguard the city from maritime threats. The fortress comprises bastions, a moat and a lighthouse, all of which reveal its military significance. Visiting the old fortress offers a journey through time and offers panoramic vistas of Corfu town, the Ionian Sea and the nearby islets. Its interior houses a collection of museums, including the Byzantine collection and a maritime exhibit which provide insights into Corfu's diverse history. The old fortress encapsulates Corfu's historical resilience and architectural ingenuity. Whether you're interested in history, seeking breathtaking views, or enjoying cultural events, a visit to this fortress offers an enriching experience that connects you with Corfu's past while embracing its present. Number 6. Hike in Corfu's Interior Going for a hike in Corfu unveils a side of the island that's rich in natural beauty and cultural exploration. The island's interior is a tapestry of lush hills, olive groves and charming villages. Popular hiking trails like the Corfu Trail offer diverse experiences, from panoramic views atop Mount Pantocrator to hidden chapels like Agios Athanasios. The route also meanders through traditional settlements like Spartilas and Perithia allowing you to immerse yourself in local life. To reach the island's interior, buses and taxis are readily available from major towns like Corfu Town. Alternatively, renting a car or scooter offers flexibility and allows you to access trailheads and remote areas with ease. 
Hiking in Corfu lets you breathe in the fresh air, encounter historical ruins, and enjoy the medley of scents from wild herbs. The opportunity to connect with nature, experience stunning vistas, and embrace authentic village life make hiking in Corfu a captivating and enriching way to delve into the island's essence. Number 5. Visit the Vlacerna Monastery and Mouse Island. Vlacerna Monastery and Mouse Island are two iconic sites that beckon visitors to experience the serenity and beauty of Corfu's landscapes. La Cerna Monastery, a charming whitewashed structure perched at the edge of a small peninsula, is connected to the mainland by a short causeway. Its distinctive red-tiled roof and idyllic setting make it a popular postcard image of Corfu. Adjacent to the monastery, Mouse Island, or Ponte Conissi, is a tiny islet crowned by a Byzantine chapel. The legend behind its name adds an air of intrigue to the site. A stone pathway connects the islet to the mainland, allowing for easy exploration. Visiting Vlacerna Monastery and Mouse Island offers a serene escape from the bustling streets. The tranquility of the monastery's surroundings and the panoramic view from the causeway are particularly captivating. The picturesque landscape, the gentle lapping of waves, and the sense of solitude create a contemplative atmosphere. These sites epitomize Corfu's charm and provide a peaceful retreat where you can connect with nature, admire historic architecture, and immerse yourself in the island's cultural and spiritual essence. Whether you're drawn by the visual allure or the opportunity for quiet reflection, a visit to Vlacerna Monastery and Mouse Island offers a tranquil interlude during your Corfu journey. Number 4. Take a boat trip to Paxos and Antipaxos. Embarking on a boat trip to Paxos and Antipaxos unveils a maritime adventure that unveils the captivating beauty of Corfu's neighboring islands. These smaller Ionian gems offer a quieter, more serene escape from the larger, bustling tourist destinations. Paxos, the larger of the two islands, charms visitors with its lush greenery, charming villages and turquoise coves. Antipaxos, known for its pristine beaches and crystal clear waters, is a haven for beach enthusiasts and snorkelers. The boat trip itself provides a chance to soak in the Ionian Sea's tranquil expanse and relish the sight of picturesque landscapes. The turquoise waters and rugged coastlines of these islands create a captivating backdrop for exploration. A boat trip to Paxos and Antipaxos introduces you to a different side of the Ionian Islands, one characterized by unspoiled nature and serene ambience. It's an opportunity to experience the slower pace of life, savoring moments of relaxation and immersing yourself in the natural splendor that defines these islands. Number 3. Relax on Corfu's beaches. Corfu's beaches offer a captivating array of coastal beauty that ranges from soft sandy shores to pebbled coves. With its diverse coastline, the island caters to a variety of preferences. Glefada Beach, with its golden sand and clear waters, is a popular destination for sunbathers and water sports enthusiasts alike. Palio Castrizza Beach, nestled between dramatic cliffs, boasts a stunning backdrop for swimming and snorkeling. For those seeking relaxation, Agios Gorgios Beach provides a peaceful setting with its expansive shoreline and serene atmosphere. Meanwhile, Sidari Beach captivates with its unique rock formations and enchanting sunset views. The island's beaches are not just places to unwind, they also offer opportunities for adventure and exploration. <music> 
Corfu's beaches are a window to the island's natural allure, inviting you to embrace the beauty of the Ionian Sea. They're an invitation to connect with nature, bask in the Mediterranean sun, and indulge in the quintessential coastal pleasures that define a memorable trip to Corfu. Number 2. Visit Achillion Palace Achillion Palace, an enchanting neoclassical mansion on Corfu, bears testament to the historical and artistic influences that have shaped the island. Built in the late 19th century by Empress Elizabeth of Austria, also known as Sisi, the palace reflects her admiration for Greek mythology, particularly the hero Achilles. Visiting Achillion Palace offers a journey into imperial splendor and architectural finesse. The palace's interior is adorned with intricate frescoes and elaborate furnishings, while its beautiful gardens showcase statues inspired by Greek mythology, including the iconic Dying Achilles sculpture. Beyond its artistic allure, the palace's hilltop location provides panoramic views of the Ionian Sea. It's not just a historic landmark, it's a testament to the Empress's personal connection to Greece and her desire to create a haven of culture and elegance. Achillion Palace invites you to step into a world of regal opulence and mythological enchantment. It's an opportunity to delve into history, marvel at architectural grandeur and relish the tranquil gardens that mirror the spirit of ancient Greece. Whether you're an art enthusiast, history buff, or simply seeking a blend of culture and beauty, a visit to Achillion Palace promises a captivating experience that enriches your Corfu journey. Number 1. Explore Old Town Corfu and the Church of St. Spiridon. The best thing to do in Corfu is to wander through Old Town Corfu, a living canvas that captures the island's historical essence. Its labyrinthine alleys, adorned with Venetian-style buildings and quaint squares, exude timeless charm. The old fortress and new fortress guard its entrances, embodying the city's historical significance. Amidst this enchanting backdrop stands the Church of St. Spiridon, a revered Orthodox landmark. Dedicated to Corfu's patron saint, its impressive bell tower is a recognizable silhouette on the skyline. The interior, adorned with intricate frescoes and a silver casket containing the saint's remains, emanates an atmosphere of spiritual reverence. Visiting Old Town Corfu and the Church of St. Spiridon offers a journey into the island's past and faith. It's a chance to wander the cobbled streets, uncover hidden corners and experience the blend of architectural styles that reflect its diverse history. Old Town Corfu and the Church of St. Spiridon encapsulate the island's cultural and spiritual tapestry. Whether you're strolling through history, admiring religious art, or seeking a deeper connection with Corfu's heritage, these sites offer a glimpse into the island's soul, inviting you to become part of its enduring story. That's the end of our video of the top 10 things to do in Corfu. Check out more amazing videos on our YouTube channel, or visit our website to find the best travel deals to Europe. See you next time.